Good afternoon. Our first item of business today is time for reflection, and our time for reflection leader is the Most Reverend Leo Cushley, Archbishop of St Andrews and Edinburgh. Presiding officer, dear friends, as we all know, the 30th of November, just around the corner, is St Andrew's Day. It's our national day, just as the English choose to celebrate St George, the Irish, St Patrick, and the Welsh, St David. The Welsh found a local lad to celebrate as their national patron. The English have an Armenian soldier, popular among crusaders of the High Middle Ages. The Irish chose a Briton, maybe even from what is now Scotland, and the Scots have a Galilean fisherman. Who got the best patron? Well, the English picked someone brave and chivalrous. The Welsh picked someone holy. The Irish picked someone fiery and outspoken. And we picked a fisherman. Why a fisherman? Well, I have a theory, and it's got nothing to do with Smokies, so get comfortable because here it comes. You see, the English used to have St. Peter as their national patron, and he was the first pope. At that time, the Scots had St. Columba as their national patron. Good local choice, but not quite up to competing with the first pope. So the Scots changed their national patron to St. Andrew. Now, Andrew wasn't the first pope, but he was the first man called to follow Jesus. And in the Middle Ages, that counted for something. Over a thousand years ago, his relics were brought to the town now known as St. Andrews. And the kings and people of this country built a cathedral in his honor there. I'm told that for centuries, St. Andrew's Cathedral was the largest building in the whole of Scotland, and pilgrims came from all over Europe to visit it. Today, we're still proud of Andrew, but in a vague, distant way. Yet he, the university town, his name and his flag, all remind us of something that's been here, doing a lot of good for a lot of people for many centuries. And that's the civilizing influence of fair laws, of just courts, of a belief in objective truth, of standards of behavior, of mutual respect, of helping others who need a hand. And that's probably the best thing about having Andrew as a national patron. No matter your beliefs, there are still one or two of these things that we can all agree are worth holding on to and that are good for us all. So, St. Andrew, patron of all Scots, pray for us. Thank you. <laughs> 